In this chapter, we will continue combining the selection techniques and tools that we've learned so far, but we will work with images that are a little bit more difficult to make selections on. Like in this case, we have a portrait image with a fairly easy, simple, neutral background, but because the background color is quite similar to the hair color, we will have to be a little bit more tricky. So first of all, we can decide what tool we want to use for this selection. And I think the best would be to use the quick selection tool. So we will go around this here and then hold down Alt and remove these details uh, from the hair. I mean, from our selection, we don't want the hair to be included. Something like that. And uh, don't worry about the minor details. We'll deal with them a little bit later. So that looks quite good. Maybe include that little part as well of the skin, something like that. Now we can invert the selection, go to select inverse, and then save this as a mask. So I click on the mask icon, and now we created the mask. We can create a new layer behind this and fill it in with a color. I'm just going to pick a different color, something like that. Now. If we zoom closer, of course we can see that the selection around the hair is awful. So we have to definitely improve that. So if I double click on the mask and then we go into mask edge in the properties panel, we will be able to improve that by adding smart radius and increase the radius. We probably have to increase it really high in this case because we will have to find all those little flyaway hair uh, in this case. You can see it looks already much better if I turn it on and off. So it found the edges really well there, but it will start to mess up a bit the hard edge details. So let's see before and after. The hard edge details actually looked better uh, so on some parts before uh, than after. So this is after and this was before. So again, you have to decide uh, what you want to do in this case. What I would prefer to do is to do the same technique that we did in a previous uh, example, when we have the soft edges on a separate mask. So this improved part, uh, we will put on a separate mask. So instead of outputting to the layer mask, we will choose new layer with layer mask. Okay, let's just have a look at the hair if we can improve that any further and don't worry about the hard edges. So if I increase feathering, that will just blur out the hair. So that's not really good in our case. Let's have a look at smooth. Uh, smooth is quite nice, but again, maybe blurs out the hair a bit too much. Contrast can actually help to make the hair look a little bit more sharp. So let's see before or without contrast and with contrast. But the only problem with that again is we are losing a couple of details there. Let's have a look if we increase the uh, smart radius even higher or the radius value even higher, if that helps uh, for us. And I think that actually improved it even more. So let's look at it before and higher. I think the higher value is better. We can check it even the highest value, 250. And I think that's actually the probably best. If you keep an eye on the left side and go back down, that was before, and this is after, so keep an eye on that. I think this does really good selection there. Of course, this would really mess up the edges on the uh, hard edge details, but we are not worrying about that now because we have the output to new layer with layer mask option on. So now that we have all this ready, but let's just click on OK now. After all these changes, I'm going to click on OK. And you will see that we have a new layer created with a new layer mask. And the hair looks amazing here on the left side. It only looks a bit uh, pro problematic on this part here. But we can use the brush tool and we can draw over these details with white. So we would like to see these details. Even that part there, it's probably not transparent. We should see them completely filled. And these here, and even this, I think, should be all filled in with hair. That's it. So it was only the highlight that um, created this issue with the hair. And um, I'm not sure if we are seeing already the background color here or it's still part of the hair. But I think that's quite good. I can alt click and check uh, our selection like this as well. And I can see a couple of issues here. So I'm just going to quickly draw over these with white and that as well. Okay. 
and then I can also see that there's a couple of uh, like ghosts here of the background which I'm just going to remove as well what you can also use in some cases around the edges uh, you can use dodge and burn on the mask itself so you can use burn set to mid-tones and you can draw around the edges and that can get rid of that noise uh, which is remaining there even if you look at the image so alt clicking on the mask even looking at the image you can still see how this dodge and burn will help to improve your mask on the other side I don't need it that looks brilliant uh, and here on the top as well it looks good so this was the only problematic part which now we improved and it got much better it's a little bit soft but all together the hair looks really good and now we have to deal with that issue that uh, the bottom part especially here around the shoulder is now really bad so maybe I just use the burn tool on these parts as well to get rid of that uh, hazy detail there so now what I'm going to do is to make a selection with the lasso tool so I just draw around the area where we have the hair like that and go around this part here so we have a selection and then create a group for this uh, version so this is the soft edged detail soft edge create a group and we will call that group separation and then save this selection as a mask so this will only show the soft edge detail uh, from the image and then we can turn back the other version which is the hard edged version the one that we created with the quick selection tool and we can have a look at the edges and now we should see a uh, perfect alignment the only problem here is that we are actually adding back a couple of details to the hair because remember that this uh, image will show everything uh, even the head so what we need to do is to make sure that that's removed so either do it on the same mask itself or you can use a separate mask for that I'm actually going to do it uh, separately I mean do it on the actual mask I'm just going to make a selection of the whole head uh, with the lasso tool and then on this mask I'm going to press alt backspace to fill this in with black so I'm just using uh, black and fill it in like that and that will remove everything and I just need to go over these couple of details here to make sure we join the two masks together again here I just fill it in quickly and now it's joined back together so now if you look at it we have the separation for the head it's a separate mask and we have the hard edges again as a separate layer so hard edges and the head or both on separate layers so that's again a similar technique that we did already but combining with using the refine edge and in this case I had to work quite less on the uh, hard edges but much more on the hair to make sure it looks good so that's all I wanted to show you in this example and uh, in the next video we'll look at a very similar workflow again the most common workflow with selecting people uh, separating the hard and soft edges but now we are going to look at a full length photo